How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I have five different sleep masks over here. They range in price and they range in comfort. Today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each one and why this $40 Manta sleep mask, which is the most expensive of all of these, is really worth the price. Before I begin, I have to thank Manta for providing me this sleep mask along with the regular eye cups. Honestly, I was very happy with my sleep mask already, but once you try something better, it's like you can't go back anymore. Talk about raising your standard of a living. First one is this, when you put it on, it actually puts quite a lot of pressure on your eyes. It was so uncomfortable to me that I didn't even want to try it out. So this one is an automatic no. I actually prefer this free airline one because it's less bulky than this one. This one goes for about $10. It worked for me and I was able to comfortably nap in it. It has these relief holes so that it doesn't put pressure on your eyes. However, the design of this is quite one dimensional. It's completely flat. That's why it needs this nose cushion thing to keep light from going in. This Emzu one was the best sleep mask I thought there was until I tried this Manta one. This Emzu one also have the relief area for your eyes so that it doesn't put pressure on your eyelids. However, there are some nitpicking drawbacks to this that I did not realize until I tried the Manta one. Number one is that the relief area could be slightly bigger because I have my eyelashes, right? And if you really, really put it on and look for the drawbacks that your eyelashes, if they're long enough, they're gonna brush around the front of this thing. So if you hold your eyes kind of close to your eyelash and you kind of blink, well, you're gonna feel something is there and that is kind of uncomfortable. Of course, if you are sleeping, your eyes are completely closed, you're not moving your eyelashes or anything, so therefore you're not gonna feel anything there. Another drawback I noticed with the Emzu is that the side over here is a little bit thicker than the one on the Manta. Why is this important? Is because when you put it on and you are side sleeping, the material here on the side, it's gonna push against your head and it's gonna cause a slight, slight discomfort. And I've experienced this Emzu one shifting ever so slightly. It wasn't a big problem or anything, but this nitpicky thing is there. So those are the two very, very minor drawbacks. $10, $18, around $40. Now, before trying this Manta sleep mask, I was skeptical that it can be any better than this Emzu because it satisfied my needs. The top three that I talked about all performed well. I was able to take a nap just fine. It's the little things that you look for before you fall asleep. So maybe if you get the Manta one, you're gonna notice less discomfort. Therefore, you might sleep a lot faster. In fact, when I tried this, I fell asleep pretty quickly. This is the Manta Sleep Eye Mask. It has a relief area that is extra big so that your eyelashes can flap all they want. You'll notice if I put this on and I sleep on the side, you are pressing this onto your pillow. So you got about a quarter inch of material over here. But for the Emzu one, you're gonna press the very edge of this eye mask and this little bit is what's gonna feel like you're pressing on top of this half inch of material towards the edge of the eye mask. You can adjust the eye cups. If you have wider eyes, one eye taller than the other, or in my case, my ears are quite tall compared to my eyes. I adjusted the sleep mask a little bit higher so that it's not completely centered around the eye cup. This makes it so that the band fits over my ear and it doesn't touch my ear at all. Let me show you guys. The band just misses my ear and this makes it a lot more comfortable. The Emzu one is completely fit on top of my eyes and you can see the band. Man, it just kind of folds over my ear over here. And this is what I meant by these nitpicky things. I can still fall asleep with the Emzu one, but the Manta one is just that little bit more comfort. These are the eye cups that comes with the Manta Slim eye mask. You can see that the Max one has a little bit more area. And when I tried it, when you compare the regular eye cup versus the max eye cup, the circumference of the eye area is slightly bigger. And it feels like when you blink, there's a lot of skin that moves around, right? So it just gives you a little bit more room. I would say both of these, my eyelash doesn't really brush against the front or anything, but the extra room really makes it more comfortable. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to remove them. You got this Velcro stuff and then you just kind of put it wherever you want. It has this little tag where you've got to point this towards your nose area. 
In this configuration, I have set the band a little bit higher. Therefore, it just kind of doesn't look as symmetrical, but I'm okay with this because it's very comfortable for me. You can adjust the head strap as much as you want to the tension that you want around your head. I tend to set it at a very low tension and to compare the two eye cups over here, the depth in the Manta Max looks like one or two millimeters deeper but you can definitely see that the outer rim is bigger. In terms of material, this is very, very soft. It's almost velvet-like. And here is the look at the Max eye cups, the back of one. First one is 1.5 ounce. Second one is 0.2 ounce. Even though it's very light, this presses against your eyelids and it's very uncomfortable. 1.6 ounce, 1.5 ounce, 1.15 ounce. With the regular eye cups, it's actually 1.2. This is not a mistake. These eye cups is actually 0.05 ounces heavier than the max one. So if I were to lose all my sleep masks tomorrow, I probably would still go back and buy one single sleep mask, which is this Manta Max sleep mask. Thanks for watching this video. I have links to all of those sleep masks if you are interested down in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.